So, so what? So we have one chart just like that. And have a guess for this chart. Just do the same for the south pole. Okay. So, you easily define it. Okay. Minus theta dot plus one. So what does this show? <laughs> this shows that um, so so these phi one and phi two are called basically the stereographic okay. stereographic projections. By the way, these are smooth actually. I can differentiate them as much as I can. I walk. Still be nothing is troublesome. Five two. I'm sorry. Five two. Five two. The five two would be what? Five two would be okay, this x i over one plus x n plus one. So it's going to be one plus x n. So try to have have a guess for five two for yourself. Think about it. What must be the fight? Okay. So it's like everything in sphere except south pole, and the phi one is phi one u one is like everything is in sphere except what do you call north pole actually? Okay. So, and by north pole I mean hyper north pole and hyper south pole. I don't know what would be the meaning of south and north and you know, in higher dimensions. Okay. Will there be south and north and you know, I don't know. It's just analogy. <laughs> okay. So the document that I'll send you, there is another example, there is another chart for the sphere is given to you. Must go through that as well. Very interesting uh, example. So you see understanding chart, uh, understanding sphere and torus is, is pretty important actually. Because in in real world, in other words, three dimension, okay, all kind of manifolds we're gonna we can see it, and there's a classification theorem actually, which roughly says that all kind of manifolds are either sphere or torus, or they are combination, okay, or they are combination. That's it. Okay. So in other words. If you want to know what is a torus, for example, let me give an example. Okay. So I want to say that this fan, okay, the cover of the fan contains many, 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 many holes actually. Okay. So topologically I can say that as many as holes I have in this sphere each of this hole is kind of representing a torus actually. So I have taken lots and lots and lots of toruses mm -hmm. and combined and made this cover actually. Okay, so it's not something new. So I can deduce this from a torus. Okay, another so, so torus and sphere are... No matter how many holes you have. I'm sorry? No matter how many holes you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just have to count the number of holes and that's it. Okay. And then you can know that how many toruses you need to, to create that particular structure. So, so sphere and torus, as much as you can read about these two examples, read it. Okay. And that would be very good. We still have some time. Let's do another example. That would be a very like this example, a fantastic example. Okay. Okay. So, so like the U1 is a subset of Rn. Okay, U1 is a subset of Rn. And uh, U2 is a subset of Rm. Okay. They are open sets. Uh, open. And 
F F is a map from U1 into U2. U1 into U2. Okay, so map from RM to RM. Then consider the set GF, that is a graph of the function. So it's a collection of the points x from f of x. Okay? Such that x is from x is okay, x is from where? X is from where? That would be graph of function. Okay? And my claim is that this graph of a function is a map. Okay? Graph of a function is a map. Yes. Uh, it's n plus m manifold. Now this is a very, very interesting example. A very powerful example. I'm going to show it. That why this is so powerful. Okay. One thing that I missed that obviously having phi 1 and phi 2 is not enough, you need to also show that phi 2 composition phi 1 inverse, the transition maps, and phi 1 composition phi 2 inverse are smooth actually. In case of Sophia, I'm talking about Sophia. Okay? And uh, a good piece of information is written here that if you compute the phi, phi 2 composition phi 1 inverse, you get gonna off maybe say y1 and yn, okay, you're gonna get this y1, y2, okay, yn, and so, so this vector divided by the sum of i equal to 1 to n y i square. Okay, so this would be, you can verify all these things. Okay, and this would be the transition maps. And similarly, I can have a transition map for a composition for the inverse. And uh, this is smooth. There is nothing that can make it explode at Okay, so you can check it out. So, so, so I'm leaving these gaps for you, just introducing the things and leaving the gap for you to do the algebra, prove that these things are continuous and you know, the things that you want. Let's return back to this example. So before moving ahead that what does this example is, is basically telling you. Think about it. If I take u1 to be subset of r, in other words an open interval, and I take u2 to be a subset of r2, okay? if I take a u2 to be a subset of r2, or maybe say for example r1 as well, let's, let's, let's begin with r1, okay? then this x f of x would be what? It would be a point in what? It's going to be point in x, y place. Are you getting the point? If f is a map from r to r, then the graph, this graph of map is what? So you take all points from u1, from the domain, and compute the, take the ordered pairs x, f of x, actually. Okay? So that means that it is going to be kind of a curve. Not necessarily smooth, but it's going to be what you call a curve. So if I if I take n and m equal to one, I'm getting that. So if I prove that this is a manifold, that means all kind of curves that you can draw all of them. I get another point. Now I'm saying take n equal to one. 
and m equal to 2. So it's going to be what? So it's going to be a curve. No, no, no. Okay, so it's going to be a curve. It's going to be a curve actually. So it's going to have what? X and the coordinates in M2. So it's going to have. So it's going to have. So it's going to be a curve in R3 actually. Get it? It's going to be curve in R3. Get it? Right. So the graph of this is going to be curve in R3. So if this guy is manifold, then all curves. To satisfy these conditions are manifold. Okay. Now take n equal to 2 and m equal to 3. So what are you going to get now? You are going to get surfaces. All kind of surfaces. Isn't it? Then n equal to 2 and m equal to 3. Ah, okay. So, so what I'm saying is that I have I have domain in two dimension, okay, and uh, okay, uh, the images are in three dimension, okay. So what would be the graph of it? Uh, okay, so this would be a big trouble making thing. Something. So something So something hyper. But I want to have. You know, for example, a plane in uh, three dimension. So how can I have it? So take m equal to one and take n equal to three. Okay, that would be a surface. So if this is a manifold, all kind of surfaces, like you know, you have your favorite surface slender. And you know, all kind of surfaces that you can make basically, they all are manifold. Okay? And in particular, in this course, we are interested in these two cases basically one this case, another this case. Okay? So, when you can study, for example, the manifolds, you are talking about crazy objects. Very crazy kind of objects. Is it making sense? Anyway, so this, this is a beautiful example. It kind of shows that a hell lot of things in the real world, okay, even we are manifolds. <laughs> you are sitting in a manifold, you are riding on a manifold, you are eating manifolds, you are <laughs> you are doing all kind of crazy things. That's that's just a consequence of
need to describe is basically this pi now that what is this pi. Now pi, so take pi as a map from u1 cross u2 into u1 as as what? Phi of say x, y, where x is an element in Rn and y is an element in Rn as x. Okay? And inverse would be what would be the inverse of it? So consider the map, okay, the canonical map. So IF. I can also give it a name IF actually if I wish. Okay. So the IF is going to be a map from U1 into U1 cross what do you call it U2. And how is going to be here? So IF mapped upon the X is going to give me this X1. Is it making sense? Okay. Then then I can see easily that if I restrict this pi onto graph, so at the moment pi is de you know defined on let's get rid of the if I at the moment the pi is defined on whole u1 and u2, <coughs> but if I restrict it on graph and I compose it with if. What I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get identity map. And that would be the identity map on the graph. And similarly, if I take IF and compose it with okay, the pi of restricted pi on GF, I'm still gonna get identity on graph. Are you getting the point? So what we have, I have simply um, a single chart actually in my atlas, okay, with this map, okay? So you went to one. I'm sorry? Very identity. Identity and the yogi. Very much the Mary, because I would take from you. Oh yes, you, uh, this would be you. Identity and you and other is going to be identity and GFF. Take it. So what we have now, I have a chart, okay, in which um, I have what? I have a so I have an atlas with a single chart actually. And this chart is going to cover the entire hypersurface or the surface that you have. Okay? And hence your all kind of surfaces which are defined through some function. In this specific manner, they are manifolds. Okay. So it's a 
the map from Determinant. And we can show that this guy is continuous. Okay. This guy is continuous. Where is your point? With using this map, I can actually show that this special linear group, or general linear group, GLNR, is an open subset of R n cross n actually. So it's an open subset. So how can I show it in an open subset? So, so I have a topology on it. Okay, so these guys are going to inherit topology from it. Okay. Uh, product. Product basically. Okay. So I can I can show that this is isomorphic to what? This is isomorphic to this guy. Okay. Or uh, maybe some subset of this guy. Okay. Not not all because. Yes, we are only taking those for which the determinant is zero, not all. So we can show that this is an open subset for this Rn class. And, and then we know that if you have, so Rn class N is a manifold. So this guy is an open subset of a manifold. So we know that any open subset of a manifold is also a manifold around the group. So general linear group is a kind of एक एक्सरसाइज है टेक्स्ट में वो आपने खुद करनी 